In this example, we want to find the eigenvalues and corresponding eigenvectors for the following matrix. So in this case, we're going to look at a 3x3 three three matrix. So the process is pretty much the same. It's just we're going to um, just working with a, a slightly larger matrix. Okay. So we still, okay, we're going to approach this like we did in example one. Okay. So we have in the box here, we have AX equals lambda X. Okay. So this is going to be equivalent to AX minus lambda X equals to zero. Okay. And then we can go ahead and factor out X. So A minus lambda I equals to, and there's X here x equals to zero okay so all right so that means okay so remember we're interested in a non-trivial solution we know that x equals zero is a solution of this but we're not we don't want that okay we want something non-trivial so that means this okay the determinant of this must be equal to zero okay So that's how we're going to find our eigenvalues, okay, for this problem. Okay, so let's go ahead and set this up. So we're going to have 1, 2, negative 4. So we're going to have our matrix here. Since this is 3 by 3, so that means this is going to be lambda times, okay, I3, okay. All right. Okay, so then this is going to give us, okay, so we have 1 minus lambda, 2, negative 4, 0, minus 2, minus lambda, 3, and then 0, 0, and minus 2, minus lambda. Okay. All right. So now we're going to, we want to find the determinant of this, okay? So, okay. Find the determinant. And then we're going to set that equal to zero to find the eigenvalues. All right. So recall that, remember that this is, so this is an upper triangular matrix, okay? And if you recall, okay, there, um, for upper triangular matrices, okay, to get the determinant, we can just multiply the, or take the product of the main entries here. Okay, so we can just take, multiply these, okay? Because this is already an upper triangular form. So that's, that works out very nicely. And it's already in factored form. Okay, so this is gonna give us, okay, 1 minus lambda, minus 2 minus lambda, minus, and then that's squared, equals to 0. Okay, so from here we have lambda, so lambda is equal to 1, okay, and lambda is going to be equal to minus 2, and this has multiplicity of 2 because of, because it's to the second power. So if you recall from pre-calculus, remember that is that's this is so this is acting as a double root. Okay. All right. Okay. So now we can go ahead and find the corresponding eigenvectors. Okay. So find the. eigenvector for lambda equals to 1. So we'll do that one first. Okay, so we're just going to substitute lambda equals 1 back into, right, back into here. Okay. Okay, so we end up getting, okay, 0, 2, negative 4, 0, um, negative 3, 
three and then zero zero and minus three okay okay so from here okay we're going to go ahead and find the, the homogeneous uh, solution for this for this matrix okay all right so let's go ahead and let me just go ahead and augment the zero vector on there okay so we're going to do a R or EF on this all right so when we do that okay we're going to get uh, zero one zero 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 one and then the last row is all zeros okay all right so from here okay we're going to go ahead and solve for the uh, null space okay so we have one free variable and the, okay so that free variable is uh, is going to be for x1 okay so we're going to let okay so first we're going to find solve for the null space okay so we're going to let x1 be our free variable okay all right so then from there okay for x2 Okay, we get zero. Okay. Right from here we have x2 is equal to zero, and from here x3 is equal to zero. Okay, so therefore we have okay for our null space, okay, we have x1, which is t, x2 is zero, x3 is zero. So in parametric form, okay, this is going to give us t times the vector one. Zero, zero. Okay. All right. So that is okay. So this is our. Right, this is the the eigenvector that we're looking for. For lambda equals to one. Okay. And just remember that this is right. This is our right. This is the eigen. This is the basis. Okay. All right. So the span, so anything, everything in here, for any t value here, okay, for every t value, uh, this is actually an eigenvector, okay, but the basis of this span is 1, 0, 0, okay, so just keep that in mind. So this is the eigen, what I like to say, the eigenspan, okay, okay, all right, so now, for the second part, uh, we want to find the eigenvector for lambda equals to negative 2. Okay, so again, substitute to our into our matrix up there, okay, we're going to get, all right, so for lambda, for lambda equal negative 2, we're going to get 3, okay, so we have 3, 2, negative 4, and then we're going to get 0, 0, okay, and 3. And then we have zeros on the last row. Okay, again, we want to find the, uh, the solution for this homogeneous system. Okay, so we're going to do the REF. So this is going to give us uh, one, two thirds, zero, and then zero, zero, one, and then we have zeros on the bottom okay so in this case um, our free variable here is going to be x2 okay
So we're gonna let x2 be some very some some variable. Okay, where that value is a real var real variable. Okay. And then from here, okay, from from here x3 is zero. And then from here we have that x1 is going to be equal to minus two thirds times x2. Okay, in this case x2 is t, so we have so that means this is going to be minus two thirds t. Okay. Alright, so then okay, so we have our solution. So this will be Okay, so for x1, we have minus 2 thirds t. For x, uh, yeah, for x2, we have t. And then for x3, it's 0. So writing this in parametric form, we get minus 2 thirds 1 and then 0. Okay. So now typically, they like to, uh, we like to express the eigenvector in terms of integer values okay so we can do that by multiplying each value in this vector by three so kind of like clearing out the fractions okay because t remember t is just a free variable okay so we can so this is equivalent to minus two three and then zero okay so they're in the so minus two thirds one zero is in the same space right it's in the same span as minus two three zero so typically we write we like to write we like to write this in terms of uh, integer values. Okay, so this is the eigenvector for lambda equals two minus two. Okay, all right. So those are our solutions. So for lambda, right? So for our eigenvalue of one, we have the eigenvector one zero zero, and then for the eigenvalue of or the eigenvalue for lambda equals to negative two we have minus two three zero okay and just keep in mind remember this is the eigen span okay okay just like we had up here okay so again any vector in here for any t value this is going to be a eigenvector but with this but minus two three zero is the is the basis for that eigen uh, for that eigen uh, space 